What's up, guys? It's Alex from Brothersaurus Rex, and I'm gonna do a review today on the Die Rotor and the Exalt Speed Feed. I've shot a lot of crates through these, and I'm very happy with both of them. My rotor jams a lot, but the one complaint I have is the anti jam switch doesn't really do anything on the back when it jams. But one thing I do like about the rotor, it's got a great profile, like really low profile, and it's I guess it's a little heavier than the Prophecy, but not that heavy at all. Maybe two pounds. And um, it's very easy. Probably the best part is it's very it's very durable and it's very easy to take apart. So I'm just going to run through ta the taking it apart because it's very quick. I'm going to just pull up on this back tab right here. And you're going to press this button. And then the whole top shell just comes off. That's how you get a speed through and you can see the screws. I'll probably do a review on that later. And then there's a tab up here, and you're just going to want to pull up on this, and the whole back just flips out. And you just have the bottom of it where you get the batteries in, and the whole gears thing. The gears you really don't need to go into unless paint pops, but I'll go through it anyway. Like a paintball pops inside your footer. Just. There are these two are stuck together, it's weird. Alright, you get this piece, it comes out, then you have a, uh, the red piece that the arm thing swings around under it, and you have the bowl, which is a whole bowl of paint bowls, and finally the gears on the bottom. They all come out and see the whole bottom is empty, and if you turn it on, you can just see like the motor spinning inside it. And the first piece that goes in when you're putting it back together is the gears all the way down on the bottom. Interlocks with the other gears on the bottom. And the bowl goes in. So I kind of have to not show you guys because I have to have gravity on my side for this. And the arm. Flip that in. And then you take the arm rotator things and put that in. And make sure it's under the tabs, all of them. I'm gonna trouble that. Alright. And then you have these two red hooks. Just cover the hole. And make sure it's all spinning right. It's good. Alright. Now, nah, wrong thing. Take the middle piece, the shelf, or whatever it's called. And you want to just. There's like two tab things that hold it in place, just slide it in under those guys. And push right under this flat thing that... And another good thing about the rotor is when you're shooting paintballs, a lot of paintballs like, like loaders, they're just one shape, but when you shoot the rotor, there's a spring inside it, so when you're shooting, 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 it goes up, 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 and it, so make sure you get all the paintballs out, which is actually a really good idea, I think. And right under that tab, you're just going to push down. And you'll hear it click in place, like it did. And you just put the rotor in, that top shell on the top. And it's all good. It'll click in. And you take the lock switch and push that down. Alright, now on to the speed feed. Um, a lot of people like the new spine came out a while ago, actually, by the time I'm making this video. And it, the thing I don't like about it is it's 30 bucks. And if you like me, you like saving money in paintball. So, but the Exalt is only like 10 bucks, and I think it functions great. That the six tabs around it, if yeah, there's six, just making sure. Um, like, they pop in and pop right back out to make sure they hold the paintballs in. Really, place, like, I'll just show you up the pod right now before I do, I put them all in. If you did, I just slide, slide the whole pod in, and see, they just came right back out. I'll do it again. See, they're like fully compressed in. Comes right back out. Alright, and, but one thing I hear about the spines is that they, they have a lifetime warranty, which I guess is really good if you spend 30 bucks. So I'll just put some paint in it. See, it went right in. Not, well, there's one paint ball popping out. Just put that in. And, three running. Not letting any out. Turn it upside down. Maybe I shake it, maybe. Oh, my finger went in. Um, maybe, um, maybe one will fall out. Upside down. No, not even one. Alright. And now I'll just do a drop test for it. Check out more. That's 
that's all of them. And the rotor, although it's probably the best hopper in all of paintball, I think. I don't know, I've never shot a Prophecy, even though I really want to. And, um, but out of all the hoppers I've shot so far, the rotor is definitely the best one. It's also kind of really expensive. I think they're 160 and you hardly ever find them for cheaper than that. But, again, like, once you buy one, they're they're not going to break, like, the Prophecy. A lot of my friends had them, and they're huge, too. And people have having a lot of problems with them, like the interiors and that. So, overall, with the die rotor, I got mine on a &S gear. Very good. I'm very happy with it. And out of five stars, I guess, I'll give it, like, a four and a half. Just because it jams a lot. And so that's about it. All for the die rotor. And pick it up at ansgear.com.